Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look at the one who broke your heart. We'll go ahead and see what messages are coming up around this person and your connection with them. It is going to be a general reading, so please just be mindful of that. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below for you. Okay, I guess that's your cards. Okay, so from what the cards um, are indicating here, the one who has broken your heart, the one who has hurt you, they are coming across as a bit infantile, a bit juvenile, a bit uh, childlike in nature. Someone who may have been emotionally immature, someone who may not have had that, you know, the emotional intelligence and the emotional maturity that you, um, you know, would have wanted them to have. So this person may have been younger than you. Uh, maybe this person, um, you know, they've made mistakes. They've made this mistake and... Uh, maybe they weren't able to fix it the one who broke you or the one who broke your heart he cannot possibly be the one that has uh, that will heal you okay i do feel like that you know for a lot of you the two of you have kind of fallen in love with each other and for some of you maybe you felt like you fell in love with someone who was an incredible person and maybe this person you know was just really fun and easy to be around with and you know, for you, maybe this is someone who just felt like they were the, just the person that you wanted to become when you were with them, okay? Um, however, sometimes that's not necessarily the case. Sometimes the person that you love isn't all that great, okay? So... I think most what hurts the most for some of you is the losing what you what the two of you spoke about okay so the two of you spoke about expectations the two of you set intentions you know you've created plans and visions around this connection and for each other and when you lose this person you also lost a piece of yourself and you also lost the illusion of what could have been all of those plans and the dreams that the two of you have dreamt up and spoke about you know it's those dreams and plans that held the two of you together right so for some of you it feels like you lose the piece of yourself that you've wanted to become or you, you lost the the piece which sort of represented the future and all the possibilities And for some of you, you felt as though this person, you've lost, when this person hurt you, okay, you felt as though they've become a totally different person, okay, because you've had, you might have built this person up, okay, with the Page of Cups energy, you may have um, made a lot of excuses for this person, maybe this person, you know, hurt you not only just once, maybe they've hurt you a couple of times, and each and every time you made up excuses for this individual you just completely gave your heart over to this person again and again um, but it feels like some of you kind of had your heart broken and you've kind of lost the innocence that you've really opened yourself up to this person you really trusted this person and you might not even have known each other for such a long time but you've just felt yourself becoming very different with this individual and you've sort of allowed it you've sort of lost an innocence within yourself that allowed it that allowed sorry for such a vulnerability in the first place for such a vulnerability and openness here look things didn't work out because it feels like someone he screwed up and i don't know if they're entirely to blame or you know um if you played your role in here if you played your role in this um connection as well but I don't know that this person, even though the two of you spoke about, you know, building a future and having children or settling down, and look, maybe some of you children were involved and children were affected greatly. 
uh, but it feels like this person from what I can see it just feels like I don't like this person may still be someone is still dealing with the aftermath but they're trying to let go And I don't know if that's because they're trying to bury their feelings and their emotions deep inside of them. The problem with that, it is going to resurface. Or I, I don't know if some of you want to actually get back together with this individual. And if you do, you just have to know that the person that broke your heart or the person that broke you will almost never be the same person that will fix you. Because there's a reason why things didn't work out. Even if the reason is immaturity, lack of emotional maturity. Even if the reason is the fact that you're still carrying a lot of hurt and pain. from, Or um, a lot of emotional luggage from the last relationship or the last time you were together. But it feels like this person was naive. Or maybe you feel like you were naive. When someone breaks your heart, they also break all the promises, right? And they break the painful memories. They break the trust. It's, it's not going to be easy to, it's not going to be easy moving on or it hasn't been easy moving on. But you need to believe that there was a reason why this didn't work out. Or at least didn't, this isn't working out for now. You have to be patient. Work on fixing yourself. Work on doing some inner work. Some shadow work. Um, the reason why you know, heartbreak hurts the way it hurts. Or does as much damage as it does. Is because... You know we allow ourselves to wallow in that misery so it's okay to hone in on it and allow the painful thoughts and memories to fill your minds but don't wait to be fixed and don't as a result become more and more heartbroken some of you you're going to you maybe you've already met someone new some of you are going to be meeting someone new here and I think this new energy that I see coming in for you is going to, this is someone who's going to motivate you to move on from this person and to just get your life back on track. And trust me, you're going to be capable. You're going to be capable of falling in love again, just as much as you were with this person. You'll fall in love again and... It's probably best to cut ties, especially with the King of Swords energy. Okay, just understand that you know the this person may not have been your happily ever after. This person may not have been your forever person, and even though it feels like this is someone whom you've had a lot of plans and a lot of expectations, um, and you know you've had a lot of visions. You've had a future that you had built up with this person or that you were working towards. But I'm seeing some of you are really embracing or you're about to embrace the art of letting go. Letting go and not allowing for this person or anyone else for that matter to have power over you. I don't, I, I'm really liking the way that Either you have responded or you will be responding to the situation. It's like you're not turning them into a villain. You're understanding why it happened the way it happened. You might be cutting them out of your life completely and choosing to move on and keep it moving. Some of you, you might be... be just be careful because some of you might be walking around hurting other people or hurting connecting energies around you because you you're not dealing with your pain you're dealing with it in a like you're not you're acting unconsciously not aware that 
you're hurting other people because you're hurting deep inside. But I'm seeing that the way that you have chosen to handle um, or the way that you are choosing to handle this situation is going to make a very huge difference for you in the healing process. It's still going to be painful. It's not going to be easy. But forgiveness is something that I see a lot of you. Some of you, maybe forgiveness has eluded you. But for others, I feel like you you want to forgive. You know, no one's forcing you. You, It's something that you have reckoned with. Um, you don't want to hold on to the pain. You know there's a choice you have to make for yourself. You let go. It's, you know, sometimes it's scary to release an emotion that you grew so accustomed and so comfortable with, even if it is painful. But to process your anger and your fear, you need to recognize that forgiveness is absolutely important. And at the end of the day, you know, most people, most people don't necessarily go around intentionally hurting others there are people who are in deep pain themselves and they continue to come back to this pain or to this truth um, because you know they feed off it or they're familiar with it so I feel like for a lot of you you're trying to understand or maybe your person is as well you know they're at a point where when they have hurt you and they have you know, done what it, what it is that they've done here and said what they've said, they're now at a different place in their life. They're working on themselves. They're working on trusting that they're doing the best, you know, that they can. They're accepting that, you know, um, personal responsibility and accountability for what was uh, said and done here. They're bring, it's an awareness that they're bringing back to themselves and they're growing. Some of you are sending love to this person or this person is sending love to you. Okay, then I see someone sitting in meditation. It's like someone sitting in meditation here and, you know, they just focus on sending you love and having your love sent back to them. This person has hurt you and it's someone who... With the King of Swords energy, um, so, someone who feels like they've done something in a very cold way, okay? It just feels like a very cold energy. They may have just suddenly cut ties with you. They may have just really ended the connection with you. They may have been very cold-hearted to do and say what they've done here. but And it's hurt you. It's hurt you. But for the most part, I see that a lot of you are trying to understand what's happened here. Or they're trying to understand how things, you know, how things unfolded between the two of you. And it's funny because even though something didn't work out with, like things didn't work out with this person, I see something working out for some of you now. Some of you might even be engaged or you might be in a relationship or, you know, married, uh, even having children or expecting children with someone else or you will be in the future. You will be meeting someone who's going to bring a lot of joy and a lot of happiness into your life. Someone who is going to make you so feel so good about yourself and about the situation, about relationships all over again. Um, but it's funny how this one, which I'm going to refer to as the wrong one, you know, has led you or is leading you to the right one. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.